Body of Mine is a new virtual reality experience that lets the user inhabit the body of a different gender. And upon wearing a VR headset and body tracking sensors, users can interact with their new virtual body that doesn't match the gender that they were assigned at birth. The goal of this project is to foster an introspection about what one's gender was or is, and to provide an experimental understanding of what it's like to be a transgendered person. That's really powerful. Interactive features include touching the virtual body of yours as you listen to audio clips of transgendered people explaining what it was like for them to go through their transition. I feel like gender dysphoria feels like the inside of your clothes are sandpaper. It's hard, it sucks being a trans male who's pregnant. Helping participants empathize with what it might be like to feel like you don't belong in the gendered body that you have. The creator Cameron Kostopoulos hopes that the VR app Body of Mind acts as a safe space for closeted individuals. Now, if you're curious about this, but you want to maintain your anonymity, then you can see it when it comes to a festival near you. They'll put you in a private screening room. But there's more to VR and AR than that. I want to show you this awesome video that just reimagines a lot of the objects that we use in everyday life, but with added XR on top of it. Twitter user Yord Studio. Studios XR uploaded this awesome video, and it just really got me thinking about how cool the world might be with some sick AR glasses in the future. Swiping on your AirPod case, that could be an interface. Apple Watch with an extended screen, the Apple Pencil one was my favorite. How fun would that be to just say which menu you want brought up and then use the slider with your thumb? Or in Photoshop, I'm always trying to make the circle smaller or bigger, and maybe you could just do that really quickly. Now the one with the bike I didn't quite get, is that a rear view mirror? Let me enhance. 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 Free and enhance. MacBook Pro, enhance. Maybe it's just like a rear view camera for his bike. Oh, that one's cool with your foot. Think about how much more useful I could be with my feet. Dude, I'm all hands with this stuff. I'm all hands. You ready for the pillow to be reinvented with artificial intelligence virtual reality, and cryptocurrency. Sleep City is a new metaverse ecosystem that allows users to get cryptocurrency for sleeping. The app operates through one of these NFT pillows, just like a crypto punk, but for your head to sleep on. And the more your head's on the pillow, the more cryptocurrency you earn. So users just need to activate the app before going to bed, then boom, money starts accumulating. Sleep City's intersection between you, the metaverse, and dreamland is not just about financial gain. It's also about capturing sleep's health benefits. And research has shown that VR that helps relax you and put you in a nice state before you go to bed can help you get into a deeper, more restorative sleep session. Headset enhance my sleep. But when it comes to XR, VR, AR, and health, it's not just about sleep, it's also about the gym time. Going out to a physical gym seems kind of burdensome to you. Home workouts, just too monotonous. Then metaverse gyms could be your solution. There's new digital platforms that allow you to exercise at home while still enjoying the benefits that you usually get from a physical gym, such as socializing with others or receiving training from a personal trainer. So metaverse gyms like Meta Gyms and Gym Pact offered guided workouts for a maybe qualified virtual trainer or unqualified. I don't know if there is qualifications for virtual trainers, but I do know that you can get little thumbs up, gold coins, and other types of rewards for actually showing up to the gym and doing what the virtual trainer says. And you can even use some of those as avatar accessories so you can flaunt your new muscles and your new gear. You know, just running in place, cycling on a stationary bike, just kind of do that thing. Rowing, weightlifting, yoga. So it allows for a customized workout routine for your individual preferences. This YouTuber, Nathy, has documented what it's like now to use VR in Roblox. And as you can tell from the title, he thinks it's pretty amazing. Roblox is obviously a prominent gaming platform with millions of users. And now all of that can be played with a VR headset like the Oculus Quest 2, which marks a significant step forward for the VR community because Roblox's primary demographic is children and they might be the generation to grow up comfortable with VR units and make it mainstream. And the VR experience in Roblox makes it a unique gaming experience that you couldn't have got before. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's playing Squid Games. So if you've got a Quest 2, you should hop into Roblox, see what that's all about. The inventor of the Oculus Rift, who sold the company for $2 billion to Meta, has now built a new VR headset and this this one can actually destroy your brain. And that's not a metaphor. This headset was inspired by a video game where if you died in the video game, you also died in real life. If I die in the game, I'll die in real life. 
Yeah, talk about raising the stakes. So the device resembles something like a MetaQuest Pro, but with the addition of three explosive modules that when triggered can obliterate the user's head in real life. The triggering mechanism is tied to a photo sensor, which is meant to only trigger when there's a specific all red game over screen. And then, Kaboom. Now let's talk about the future of VR and fast food. Metaverse technologies are transforming the dinner scene. Even if it might sound far-fetched, there's a prominent example now of a McDonald's where you can actually go in VR and look at the food that you're about to order and it gets delivered. And while you're there, you can socialize with other customers, what all of us do when we're at McDonald's. But besides just virtual eateries, augmented reality is affecting the fine dining experience. Because these kind of technologies are now being used in some places to transport the guests to the place where the food was actually picked from. Imagine seeing the corn harvested that you're actually eating on the plate. Strawberries picked right off the bush and now onto your taste buds. Imagine walking through the forest where you can see the actual ingredients that were turned into the mushroom risotto that you're eating right now were gathered. That is an enhanced dining experience. This restaurant called Sublimotion is at a minimum $2,000 per person and it uses AR and VR during the fine dining experience. It's crazy. So next time you're visiting Ibiza, if this is what you want to do with your money, it might be something very memorable. Okay, so once you get to the dining room, you stand in this crazy little pod and it takes you on a multi-sensory magical mystery tour. And look at that, they're coordinated in the lift up and then your food glows under that AR light. Look at that eating seafood and it feels like you're at the bottom of the ocean. Look at that, food comes out on a Ferris wheel and then it turns into an amusement park on the walls with girls dancing around with umbrellas. What's even real anymore? Oh, look at that magnetic floating plate at the end. That's a dessert. This theatrical experience blends a 20 course fine dining experience with art and technology. I wanted to show you this thing I found from Sean Liu on Twitter. This is just a concept that doesn't exist, but interestingly, this band, it doesn't fit around your ring finger or your wrist. It goes right here, kind of on this wide spot of your hand, just these four fingers. So the sensors can look up to tell if any of your digits are basically bent, which just seems like an interesting form factor. Maybe that would be a way that we could interact without actually holding something or when it's on the wrist, it kind of doesn't stay in the right place to see exactly how your fingers are bent. It was worth sharing because I haven't seen anybody build something like this and it seems like it might be the right place to put it. Meta, the company that's more about the metaverse than social networks or AI, Horizon Worlds is the center point of everything they're doing and it just got a big update. There's now a new multiplayer shooter game called Super Rumble and they're developing a cross-platform mobile app to connect the two. And they're now incorporating new artificial intelligent agents to help with game creation. The advancement aims to improve the user experience and stimulate more developer interest in building on top of Horizon Worlds, which since its launch has seen a bit of a decrease in adoption. Now, of course, Meta is pushing forward the open source AI models. So if they can build a lot of developer intrigue and interest around those, maybe they can get some of those developers to start thinking about using them in VR, potentially reinvigorating the platform's appeal. But you're probably wondering why haven't we been talking about holograms? It's always VR, it's always AR or XR to put the two together, but it's never real life or holograms. And I'm still not gonna talk about real life. Let's talk about holograms. Chinese researchers are developing the next generation of 3D virtual reality. Through a new method of creating ultra high density 3D holograms termed as three-dimensional scattering asset dynamic holography, 3D SDH for short. Basically, it's a high resolution projector that's going onto a background that has multiple layers to it. But it looks cool and the way they were able to get it to actually have a high resolution three-dimensional object was pretty impressive. Now this 3D SDH projector prototype that you're looking at is displaying a resolution that's about a thousand times more accurate than the average 3D hologram. So that alone gives it some of that depth. But it's another step forward to a world where we have some realistic holographic 3D Star Wars stuff. And that could definitely enhance the VR, XR, AR experience by having you interact in the real world. <sighs> Imagine that, you're in real life, but some of it's holograms, but then you've got glasses on, some of it's projected AR on top of it. There's so many layers to the difference between our eyes and reality. We can do anything in between. But one thing we could do would be to help me get to 6,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button.